afternoon and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. As you can tell, it's a little different, uh, this video. I watched most of this game. Not all of it, though, uh, because I had to play sponge hockey. So I'm a little... I'm exhausted. This video is going up the next day uh, because, one, uh, I'm extremely tired and I need to get to bed soon. God, I feel so old. Um, and two... Uh, Carter is also just busy, so we thought it better to just post it the next day. Also, too, the Jets don't play for three days, so there's that. Um, but yeah, no, Jets win 2-1 to one over the Pittsburgh Penguins. Thank God. I, I'm happy with this win. I, I thought that we were on the tips of disaster here. I don't want to say I wrote them off this game. I did a little, though. Um, also, it just fe felt like the perfect storm. Just a game th against an Eastern Conference opponent that, on paper, they should win. But right now, they've been playing to pretty much spite themselves. Um, that being said, that didn't happen. They, they played great today um, for the first 20. First 20 minutes was solid. The, the, the next 40 was acceptable. It was acceptable. It, it wasn't good. We're not going to say it's good because it wasn't great, uh, second period especially, but it was enough to get the job done. They got the hot start that they needed is what the big thing is for me. My takeaway from this is they needed that really big start and they finally got it. Um, my dad and my grandpa were at this game. That's why we have footage from there, uh, including a lovely uh, Jansen Harkins tribute. Ho ho! Jet fans, he played parts of eight seasons with the Jets and Moose. Please welcome back, Jansen Harkins. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, that was nice. Uh, he also has a Sean Monahan clip and a clip of. Uh, K Casey celebrating 500 uh, games. I'm just not I'm, not. I'm tired. I'm tired. Look on Twitter for them. Like they're not. They're not that crazy. It's mostly just Monahan on the bench going, "Thank you." Uh, it'll be crazier when he gets a goal, right? Exactly. Um, which he nearly had one today on the short, on the penalty kill, but uh, alas, not. Um, this game is fine though. This is fine, honestly. There's a couple games in the schedule that I always look at, and I'm like. In two weeks, are we going to care about this game? No. And this one's probably in that category. I'm happy we got the win, though. Um, but yeah, what time is it? Moose Watch! <laughs> Moose Watch. So, after going on a, an 11 an eleven game losing streak... Uh, the Moose have rebounded. They've won. They've gotten. They've collected. I think thirteen out of a possible fourteen points. Like they've they've been on a heater. They just had uh, back to back games in Grand Rapids. The first game was Moose are down three zero, um, and they came all the way back to tie it three to three. Um, they ended up losing in a shootout, but nonetheless. A great performance to get them there. And then today, they, again, were in a dogfight with Grand Rapids. Uh, tied it up multiple times. Went to a shootout. And they won. And, yeah, here are some lovely clips from those games. Oh, they work it in. Look out. Right out in front of the score. Wow. Manitoba on a nifty play. And it's Christian Reichel to get the goal. His 10th of the year. And that'll break the shutout bid. That right in front. Oh no. And the Griffins give the puck away and this another goal. Sheeprakov got another one. Five goals, five games against Grand Rapids after Hutchinson came out of his net. I'm not sure if somebody just wasn't communicating with, with him, Larry. Set up. And then 10 seconds later, the giveaway by Hutchinson. Now the Moose looking to tie it up. And there's a shot, they score. Yeah. Hutchinson who can win it or the Moose can extend it. It's Sheeprakov. Five goals, five games against Grand Rapids. He's got a score. He's got the puck. Angling it on Hutchinson. Goes forehand and Ooh. scores. Boy, Chibrakov is just a big come a gripping Ooh. killer, Ooh. hasn't he? Yeah, just gave a good sh sh sign with his finger. Hide that backhand behind him. Now they got a chance to win it. Billy Heinola with a chance. He's got a score. Heinola right in with a shot. He's nice scores off the pad. Long 
same time. A lot of whistle here yes, there. We're down to 6.20 to go in the opening period. Now oh. Manitoba shot and they score. That one deflected out in front by Jeffrey Vial. It's over time. In the last 24 years of oh. their bounce. And the Moose right off the draw score. Hainala. Wow. Rips one from out near the left point. He snuck it under the crossbar over the right shoulder of Sebastian Kosin. The Moose not going away. Bouncing off to the near point. will be held in by Capabianco to Lambert. He fires and scores. And Brad Lambert. Reichel. Another opportunity for the Moose to win. Here's Reichel right in and he scores. And the Moose prevail and end the Griffin 7 game winning streak. Yeah, right handed shot cutting across. It, it's great to see them finally clicking and honestly this is more or less looking like the AHL team that we were expecting them to be. Uh, Axel obviously is back. Uh, Brett Kemp has been let go of his contract. Who had, he was fine. Um, they brought down Kuzmin which I thought was interesting which also tells me I don't expect Philly Hamill to get called up soon. Because they bring down Kuzmin, which leaves them with exactly seven defense, which is an uncomfortable amount, number for an AHL team. Uh, I believe Bon Giovanni got in as well today, too, which was really good. Uh, they took Barteau out of the lineup, uh, which I don't actually totally agree with because I think Barteau has probably been... Uh, I believe it's Cabo Bianco's best defensive partner. Honestly, I think he balances him out pretty well. For a guy on an AHL contract, he's been pretty solid, honestly, this year. It, it took a while. It took a while, and he's not getting any any, any point nominees here, but he, he's been okay. Um, no, I'm just happy to see they're doing well. Uh, and yeah, that was Mouse Watch. Also, actually, before, before I go, uh, Milic has been playing a lot, and he's been winning a lot. So he, there's no doubt he'll get his ELC next year. Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze there. Uh, but yeah. Also, let's look at the women's side of hockey. Women! 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 So, uh, they still haven't played yet. Actually, I think they might have had a game today. Um, PWHL might have played today, actually, because I think it was Saturday to Saturday they had a game. Uh, nope, Sunday. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm full of shit. No, it's not even... What day? Oh, it's on Wednesday. They, they, they play two games on Wednesday. Toronto plays Boston. Ottawa plays Minnesota on Wednesday. Uh, while they're doing this, though, is they're having their rival, the Canada-U.S. rivalry series. Um, update on that. Canada has came all the way back to force game seven. They were down 3 nothing in the series, and I was saying how they forced Game 6 the other night. They forced Game 7. They win 3 nothing over the Americans to force a Game 7 in the rivalry series, which is great to see. It's always good, always nice. I thought Team USA would actually would actually pull out the win, but no, they've, they've forced it all the way back. They still could, but, you know, it's been, a, it's been a spirited affair. But, yeah, that was the women's side of hockey. We don't have any highlights today. Um... I think the only thing I'll share is I had a sponge ho uh, hockey game tonight, which is crazy. It's like hockey with a softer puck and shoes instead of skates. Yeah, very hard. Very hard. Very, very hard. Not not as taxing physically, but a lot harder. My, my shoulders don't appreciate it, um, nor do my knees. But... Uh, we had a, but my team had a great win today. We were down three one and came back to win four to three. So that's just a cool little nugget of insight into my life. Uh, but yeah, no, I've been happy with this game. Uh, three stars of the game. Uh, Hellebuck first star, second star, uh, Nikolai Ehlers, third star, Dino Dinerider, Sean Monahan, honorable mention. Had good looks. Just got to keep it up now. Uh, they play the Sharks next. I'm going to that game. With my lovely girlfriend. Um, hope it keeps going. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. I know this was a shorter one. I know we didn't touch on as many things. I'm just happy. I'm just relieved that they won. I'm just happy they won. Please subscribe and leave a like if you are new to the channel. And please leave a like on the video just in general. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Comment down below. And we'll see you next time when the Winnipeg Jets take on the San Jose Sharks. Come on, Nicola Anders. Chips a throw. Get